Well then, um, I, these soybeans are supposed to be ready to harvest. Uh, I literally just got the game loaded up. So this is my last day to harvest soybeans, as you can see. Oh, no, it's not either. Oh, my God, I kept looking at this one. These things are literally not going to be ready today. Okay, well, I guess we'll start um, with selling some grain then, I guess. I don't. I mean, I don't know what else to do because uh, these soybeans have, they got planted right here, right? So I guess that would be right. They would be ready to harvest on the last two days. Uh, I missed, I missed, missed managed my, my, my double, my double crop here. So what I should be doing is planting right here in March. Well, no, because then it's still going to be here. Yeah, I guess my double crop is from spring to fall, not from fall to spring like it used to be. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying to figure this out, how I could make this work out. But if I, so if I harvest, if I planted here, I got to harvest here and then plant here, but then I'm, yeah, so then I'm, I'm back to where I am anyway. I don't, I don't understand where I missed this, but apparently I need to double crop from here to here. Right, I need to plant in the first day of March uh, any of these crops here so I can harvest them here and then turn around and plant soybeans and then harvest them here and then wait again. I, I was thinking this was going to be ready by now. This is this is terribly ridiculous. It's been on six of six harvest or growth stage for two or three in-game days now. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess, I guess we're waiting again. Uh, we can go do this though. Uh, we're going to go sell our, our canola that we got. Uh, I think it's canola. Canola. Yep. It is at high price right now, right? 723. We can get 750 for it at Bubba Gump Farmer's Market. We can get 760 at the Highway Producers. Uh, I think that's where we might go. Tag place. Um, I need to get as much as possible out of this because I'm about to have to lease a little small trailer as well. How much How much do I actually have in here? 25,000. Okay. So two or three trips is fine. Uh, we're just going to lease the the cheapest option for holding the most. Let's go down to this end. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be... How much does this hold? No, that's too much. That's too small. This one is fine. Go to customize and then lease. Six hundred and sixty-three dollars for that one. Okay, perfect. No, no upgrade, no nothing. We're going with it. Um, I guess I might do, might go ahead and do an intro. Um, for the YouTube, or I may just skip this all together. We'll jump over and play on Iowa Plains View. I don't, I don't know now. Uh, I don't know because I thought this was gonna be ready to harvest. This just threw off my whole day right here. Uh, I don't, I don't know anymore, guys. I have no clue when this stuff goes and what happens and whatever. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, either way, welcome back to the stream. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to the channel. If you're watching later on Armor Deuce, this is going to be a short one. We're going to sell some grain uh, right down there where that big green light bulb is in the sky. We're going to pick up a trailer. We were in the smallest one we could get. Uh, we're going to go down there. It's going to be a quick video. We're literally just going to do that. And um, hopefully be back uh, to do some more harvesting and such um, tomorrow. Now, I'm getting a 760 per thousand down there at that place. And I got 25,000 to sell. And that sounds like not a lot. But we're going to turn a profit of about five or 6,000, which we desperately need to start turning a profit uh, on some of this. And we'll probably pay like 5000 on the loan and then keep the rest of it for now so that we have operating cash to continue playing with. That's going to be necessary. It's going to be very necessary, actually. Uh, but this is our first actual crop sale, I think, that's that's going to be profitable because we sold our oats. Um, but by the time we had rented all the crap we rented, we really didn't do that good on it because I rented a big harvester and I rented different types of balers and whatnot. Why is this thing... I think my, my settings are off again here. Yeah, I think my wheel settings are off for some reason. No, maybe not. Okay. All right, it's fine. Just tab out, tab back in, make sure. No, I guess it's just this tractor. I'm used to driving the other one, but it's all good. 
yeah, we're going to head down. We're going to pick up uh, our canola. We're going to make two or three trips. And uh, we're saving as much money as possible by leasing not the smallest because it's only like 1.6 liters. So uh, not the absolute smallest. But 8,000 liters is plenty small. We got 25,000 to deliver, so it's going to be a little over three trips. Uh, and that should be good. Uh, unless the weight is on it, it may be four trips anyway. So, uh, but how's it been doing in live chat? Bob, Derek, how's it going? Pizza Hut's lurking. Voltage, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Good to see y'all. Hope everybody is good today. Hope everybody is all well and good. So I guess tomorrow we'll jump back on and harvest the uh, the soybeans, which kind of sucks because I thought we'd be ready today. How did how did I miss this right here? Like, how did that happen? Like, I missed that all together right there. There we go. Canola. All right. Uh, is it going to fill it up? It is going to fill it up. All right, so just a little over three trips. We should be good. Impala, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. We're just dragging our little small Welger trailer back here behind us. Going to sell some canola at the moment. Yep. I really thought this was going to be ready to harvest today. Um, again, it's been on growth stage six of six for, I don't know, you know, I don't know how long now, so. Carlos, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Whitefield, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Or boss fan, I guess, whichever. Whitefield boss fan. Hope you're doing well. Off work so very well. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's always good. Always good. Yeah, I guess today's just going to be a short day, guys. Like, I, I didn't... Uh, I swear I thought we were going to be harvesting today. A long way down here. May not be as short as I thought. I spend most of our time driving. This is a 4X map. This is Hobo Hollow. I'm playing on the FSN, the Farm Simula Farming Simulator Network. Uh, if you want it, just go exclamation point FSN in chat and you can get the link to the site. You will have to get whitelisted for the servers. There's over 300 servers or something now, which is crazy. Um, you can jump in and do contract work for a while and uh, get whitelisted and then become a farm manager and then have the headache that we do. Uh, there's multiple different ways to play now. I need to update all that. Um, so there's generational farming. There is enhanced realism where you can't buy... Whose place is this? This is a great place right here. Is this Indy? I think this is Indy. Indy picked a good spot up here, I think. Purple. Who's the purple? Who's the purple farm? Uh, oh, that's Tia. Yeah, Tia's got a great place right here. Yeah, Tia's got a real good place up here. I like it. Looks like everybody's doing bales. Tia's also doing uh, greenhouses. So that's cool. And sheeps. Whoa, whoa, hold on there. Hold on. What in the world is this mess? Uh, I didn't, I wasn't even looking at that. I was looking at the sheeps and almost ran through the lake. Do, do we drive across this? Are you kidding me right now? I mean, I guess it is Hobo Hollow, so. Um, man, all right, well, let's just let's make sure we can. All right, hope it doesn't get in the trailer. Ruin our grain there. Over to the co-op. Had this game on your wish list for years now? Oh, it's a great game. Uh, when you can get it, I, I recommend it for sure. Tip side back is the one we want. Yeah, I recommend it. It's a fantastic game. Um, so many different ways to play this game. It really is fantastic. It's taking so dang long. The trailer is slow.
I like how the tip speed of the grain actually goes with the angle of the trailer. Like at first it's really slow, and the steeper it gets, the faster it goes. That's pretty good. All right, 6,000 for the first load. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I wish we could get precision farming on here. That would save a ton of uh, fertilizer cost. And we'd get that, that farming bonus too, that environmental bonus, that'd be good. Uh, but I don't think we actually marked that it was a DLC server this time around, so I don't I don't know. Uh, but yeah, either way, if you end up on the FSN, just know that it's it's pretty hardcore. It's in it's it plays in real time, um, and we're playing on a 24 day year instead of a 12 day year. So there's a regular 12 day, a 24 enhanced realism. Um, uh, see, there's a 12 day year. A 24 enhanced realism, a 24 regular, and then uh, a generational farming. The trick is, on all but the generational farming, you don't get to use AI help at all. Um, you have to register your equipment on the website. You can get loans and stuff through the website for the in-game, so it combines the two. It's really great, actually, uh, all the different playable, playable ways you can do things. Really good stuff. I use my keyboard or wheel. I'm using uh, my wheel. I've got a Logitech G920 or G29, whatever the PlayStation version is. One of those two. Same thing, really. One of them's Xbox, one's PlayStation. But yep, using the wheel and pedal. Yeah, I don't even know if there's a sign-up code anymore. Probably not. I mean, there could be, I guess, but uh, yeah, the Farm Sim Network, if you want a realistic way to play, 24 day a year enhanced realism, so six day season enhanced realism will probably get you there. Uh, on generational farming, if you do play and you, and you choose that one, you do get one AI help, but you get no contract labor. So with all the other servers, if I wanted to, I could put up a contract for somebody to come sell this stuff for me. Or I could put up a contract for them to come harvest my field, and it's another real player um, that's waiting to be whitelisted that's just a contractor that's doing these contracts. So it really does work everybody that way. It's really cool, really intuitive. Uh, I think it's probably the, the most efficient but most strict uh, multiplayer server I think I've ever seen anybody put up. So it's very cool, uh, but there's a lot of rules, a lot of guidelines you got to follow. But everybody's playing with the same guidelines, so it's not like anybody's got an unfair advantage here. Everybody's doing the same thing. And I don't know if it's going to be worth coming back for a fourth trip. We're going to have like 1,200 left over. That's, that's like 800 bucks. I mean, I guess that'll cover it. We can just call that the, the least cost then. We can do that. Yeah. We'll call that the lease cost, because it costs $600 to lease this thing. So if we can get this done within the hour, then uh, we'll have a, a really good lease cost cover here. I think that'll work out really well. Going pretty well, Pizza Hut. I hope everything's going well for you. But yet, yeah, just taking some grain to sell. That's all we're doing. I swear I thought we were going to be harvesting soybeans. Uh, I guess we'll be doing it tomorrow. So my apologies. I thought we were going to have a longer stream today. I really did. Um, I guess if nobody's on the multiplayer server, I can update the map when I get done here. I guess that'll give me something to do this afternoon. So that'll work. Uh, and if you want to play on our multiplayer server, I, I typically play on Tuesdays and Fridays uh, on our community server. Uh, you can just join the Discord. Give yourself the farm sim roll, read the welcome message, give yourself the farm sim roll, and then scroll down, you'll find all the farm sim channels, and you're looking for FS22 MP info. All the info's there for you to join, the download, the mods download list, and all that. It is PC only, so keep that in mind. Um, it is PC only. Uh, the only. The only way you'll be able to play, because we got uh, mods that are external mods. Keep that in mind. But you're more than welcome to join. And if you need your own server, you can use XBasePoint Nitrado, N-I-T-R-A-D-O, in chat. 
or if you're watching back on YouTube later, you can just click that first link in the description. That is my Nitrado affiliate link. If you purchase a server using that link, I do make a little commission off of it. Uh, and uh, they also, I also get our community server for free every month for being a Nitrado partner. So much appreciated to Nitrado, and I'm proud to be a partner. Am I going to own stream? Probably not. What's up, Spiderhead? How's it going? Yeah, probably not. It's a lot of um, just moving stuff back and forth in folders. The likely no. Uh, I'm gonna change this to tip side. Tip. Tip side left and see if it's any faster dumping the entire dumping the entire thing here. Let's see. It may actually be faster with this trailer. I can't remember. Does it mean you're you're dumping that whole side instead of just the back? I don't want it to break loose there. That actually might be a bit faster. Once it starts going, it really goes. One more trip to make. It's 12,000 we've made today. 12,100 and some change. 44. We're going to make about 18 grand. Uh, a little over 18 grand. Almost 19 grand probably. So, I think I figured up our price for everything and our lease cost and stuff was like... I don't even know if it's still on here or not. Vehicle leasing. Um, when did we put? No, that was in August. That's when I sprayed the weeds. So it's thirteen. Uh, I don't remember what our total leasing cost was. I think it was like nine thousand. So that's eleven thousand. Um, and then the extra eight hundred we're gonna make off of this is gonna cover the lease cost here for this for this trailer. So we've made about six or seven thousand profit, which is pretty good. That's more than we made on the first harvest. We made actually negative about five thousand. We lost money. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is going to be good. We're actually making a profit this time for once. Uh, and then for our soybean harvest, our harvester and uh, actually just the harvester because there's no bales or anything with soybeans. So that'll be just the harvester. And we'll use the smallest harvester again, the little Rostel mash. We'll use it. And I think that'll be good. And uh, we should be able to turn a profit on it too. Because our seeds were already paid for. Um, our fertilizer was already paid for we've already sprayed weeds and that's included in this harvest for profit so i mean that's that's pretty good uh, the only thing we'll have to cover is the harvester for the soybeans and we're going to more than cover that because the harvester is not very expensive anyway at least the rostel mash header is only 1200 and the least rostel mash harvester is only 3800 so we're looking at about five grand just for the harvester and the amount of soybeans we get should be pretty good. We should get about 18,000. So we should end up making about um, 10 grand off of the field. That's pretty good. Again, this is this is like extreme hard mode until you get moving. That's the reason you see a lot of people on here doing, doing silage bales. It's much easier to do silage and make money because silage always sells pretty well and when it's at its high point, it sells really well and you can just stock up just bail and bail and bail. You can cut grass three times a year. Uh, you can make a lot more money that way. Um, I just like doing different stuff and, and trying to keep it entertaining for everybody. So doing this the hardest way possible um, <laughs> is kind of kind of what I do. It's kind of what I do. Thought about that if you ask. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just going to be moving files back and forth. Um, 
downloading, re-uploading, that kind of stuff. I mean, it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to take me long either. It's going to take me 10 minutes. If everything goes right, it's only going to take me about 10 minutes. I was really hoping to get on here and harvest, but you see that. It's not possible today, sadly. So I guess what we may do tomorrow, if I start on time tomorrow, we might... Um, we might harvest and then jump over to Iowa. We might split it up tomorrow into two. Uh, it'll be the same stream, but for, for YouTube it'll be two different videos. I think it's okay. But it's a bad thing. You know what I may do is I may do this and then tomorrow harvest, highlight those out, and then download them, put them together, and then upload them. I think that'd probably be just as good. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. That way it's one video. So yeah, if you're still watching on YouTube later, uh, we're not going to harvest tomorrow. We'll be harvesting in the same video, but it'll be tomorrow for me. The, the the beauty and magic of post-production work. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. <laughs> Speaking of, why are we late? Tell me the truth. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't paying attention to the time, I guess. <laughs> I just wasn't paying attention to the time. Uh, that and I was trying to load the game and I kept trying to get the, the mods list to work and um, I, I finally realized that I still had Iowa's mods loaded instead of the Farms and Network mods so that took about 20 minutes of my time trying to figure out why I couldn't get on the server or why it wasn't you know why I was getting the exclamation points on the server list so that took a good 20 minutes so I wouldn't have been as late uh, had that not happened. But yeah, I could because Hobo Hollow is also in my Iowa Plainsview folder, I need to delete it. Because I jumped on there in single player mode to kind of test out money and to see how much I would need, where, and what I was going to do before we started on here, what land I was going to buy, and I just never deleted the map. So um, I need to delete the map out of my single player so I don't look down and see Hobo Hollow and assume that it's... FSN, because that's what I do if I forget which mods list is loaded. I'll look at the map I'm on, but it doesn't work if you have the same map loaded in your single player. So, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that issue. You watched Get Smart last night? Nice. Is that the one with Steve Carell in it? All right, now the 6,077, 78. Hey, we made a little more money that time. Made another dollar. I'll take that. Up to 22,000, we may pay 5,000 of our debt uh, just to knock it down a little bit more. And then we'll use the rest of that for operating cash and leave it sitting there for... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, interest and, and all that kind of stuff. So... They just leave it sitting there after that. Yeah, look at all them silage bales. He is holding up. They're like tires stacked up in there. He is holding on to her silage bales for later. I don't blame her. The original, nice. Heck yeah. Last little load would be like 1222 I think it is. Uh, 1298 Yes, yeah, so we'll make, make another 800 bucks maybe. And then, uh, well actually no, it'll be more than that because it's, it's 760 per thousand. So it should be, it should be around uh, 900 bucks. And our lease cost for the trailer was only 600 so that's an extra $300 in profit. Well, that's not too bad. What's up, Iceman? How's it going? You're not ending, are you? Not yet, no. we got a little while. Uh, we got a few more minutes anyway. 
We got a few more minutes. Uh, I might actually jump over on Owl with Plainsview today um, and finish picking up bales and stuff for the later half of this. So. Yes, yeah, so we we may go ahead and jump on Iowa planes you in a minute. The whole planet's on fire. Canada, Greece, USA, all have wildfires. I mean, yeah, it's July. It's, it's, it's not it's not out of the ordinary. I mean, it doesn't happen every year, but it's not out of the ordinary. It just doesn't get reported on until they feel like talking about it. When it's as hot and dry as it is, you know how it goes. All right, this little load right here should pay for our lease of the trailer. So everything else we've made up to this point is pure profit. Uh, well, I say pure profit, no. Um, anything after about 11,000 is profit. Let's go see what we've made so far on the harvest. 18,000, so we've made about 7,000 in profit today. That's pretty good. We're going to turn around and put that 7000 back into the repayment. I know it doesn't seem like much, 5000 at a time, but it makes a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. It's it's very big, very big difference. Um, that extra 5000 getting off there. It'll knock like 30 or 50 bucks off of the loan interest every day. So, not too bad. Uh, that, every dollar I get paid off is more of an opportunity to have to take out more of a loan to buy a new piece of land when it comes up for auction. Uh, so I'm, I'm waiting on I'm waiting on some fields to come up for auction now. I want um, 17 or 52, but if 16 comes up, well, maybe not 16, um, one that I can afford. Uh, if 26 comes up, I'd buy 26. Uh, I don't know if I want 12. It's across the river. Can I get? No, I can't get that one. That's too expensive. Um, but yeah, so yeah, if any, if any of these in this area right here come up, I'm definitely going to be buying them. So I want to make sure I got enough, lo enough of a loan available for the land. So. Pay the trailer and then send it right back. I mean, kind of, kind of, but we, I mean, the, the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump the trailer and send it back. We've already, we've already paid for the lease cost, so hopefully it doesn't charge us more because we haven't had it that long. Fifty-two. Fifty-three, down here. Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Because it certainly is. Yeah, fifty-three is mixed in over there, isn't it? That's so strange. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, normally they don't do that. Normally they're not mixed in like that. It's very strange, really. All right. There we go. $986. Come on. Disconnect. Uh, disconnected here? go send it back return there we go trailer returned we have sold it all we paid back some of the loan we made uh, 19,220 in lease costs uh, we had 
uh, 5,000 for the harvester and then uh, oh no we only had about 8,000 so yeah we made a good profit we made about we made about uh, we still made about eight thousand dollars in profit and then we paid off uh, because I count the trailer too and we had the 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 sprayer for the weeds the fertilizer spreader and then the harvester and header. I may actually figure that up real quick when we get back. Just just to see exactly what I spent. And we can see how much profit we actually made here. I'm not including fuel because... I mean... it's I got plenty of fuel, so I got half a tank. So we're good on fuel for a while. The crazy numbering system? It really is, yeah. Uh, the fields are kind of all over the place. Okay, we get back, I'll pull out the calculator, we'll actually figure everything up, see how much we actually made uh, in profit. Because I didn't have to buy any seed, fertilizer, or um, herbicide, we just had to lease everything, so... Uh, and I remember what we leased. I remember everything we leased, so we'll see. We'll see what we end up with. I know the, the probably the cedar was probably the more expensive piece to lease. Because we had to get one that direct drills, so we didn't have to do... We didn't have to lease a cultivator and a cedar even the cheap ones it probably I think I figured it up it would have been close to the same price if it was close to the same size and time is money so you know gotta make sure you figure it all up correctly too because you won't spend too much time working on it and then you've lost money anyway but I think we did okay I think we did okay get her sprayed off yeah I'm gonna spray it off this time it's gonna be sitting for a while now because we're not gonna we're not even gonna use it after we get done harvesting the harvesting we'll take and just put right into the silo there so no problem oh hello tractor sprayed off we are good let's park it up right here you can see we still got fertilizer and a little bit of herbicide left sitting around and seeds left sitting around so we're actually good on all that uh, all right let's park that up and we'll tab out for a minute we're gonna grab the calcuma later put it right here let's go back in now uh, so we've made 19,000 19,220 and we're gonna minus all this stuff out of here uh, vehicle leasing cost thirteen fifty one. That was the sprayer, so thirteen fifty one minus. Now I got to go over the store page. Um, accidentally cleared my seventeen eighty six, seventeen eight, no, seventeen eight sixty nine minus. There we go. All right, then we go over here. We're gonna go header, and we're gonna say lease, and that is twelve seventy five, twelve seventy five. Minus uh, cedar while we're here. I think it was the Pottinger. Yeah, this one was expensive. Oh, this one was five thousand by itself. Yeah, this is not going to be good. Five five eight four minus uh, the fertilizer spreader. Nope, wrong one. Fertilizer spreader. I think we leased this one. That was a thousand twenty minus crap. too far harvesters 
I think this was 5,000. No, it was 38.25. equals. So we made $6,165. So minus 663, 55.02. So when you take the 5000 loan we paid back, 5000 of the loan we paid back, we made $502 for our hard work for all that canola. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think, anyway. Just my opinion. I think that worked out pretty good. We made $500,000, I mean $500 in, uh, in profit, but also paid back 5000 of our loan as well. So... Um, I think that works out in the long run. Yeah, 663 is what that cost. Okay. Yeah, so the property maintenance is 184 a day. Our loan payment was 782. That should drop down to around 775. So we'll save a couple of bucks a day, hopefully, at 230. Um, yeah, I made, I made a little money and paid on the loan. I think that's pretty good. I have no issues with that. Um, for everybody watching on Twitch, hang out for a minute. And for everybody watching on YouTube, we're about to jump over uh, to the harvest. So uh, let me get all that set up and then we'll come back and we'll harvest. We're going to be leasing uh, this little guy here again, the little Rostamash Nova 330 and a little header for it. The Rostamash Powerstream 500. We're going to be putting it straight into the silo and we're we'll going to be holding on to it since it's soybeans. We're going to be holding on to it until next June. Yeah, next June for 1242. It's going to be nice. So uh, if, you're li if you're here live with me, hang out. If you're on YouTube, we're about to jump over and do the harvest. Uh, so give me just a sec. Let me get everything set up. Well, it looks like the soybeans are finally, finally ready to harvest. Uh, what is going on with my computer right now? That was really awkward. I hit escape and it was bringing up like other menus. It's really strange. Um... Yeah, so last month the harvest soybeans here. Uh, it's because I planted them in June, I think. I was trying to double crop the other way. I should be double cropping this way, which it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't think. I think I'm always going to get... Um, if I plant in March, I'm always going to be able to harvest here. Maybe. Maybe these three are these three months. Maybe if I plant here, I get them here. I don't think I'm able to double crop on this map. I'm just going to be real honest with you. Uh, if we can... We'll double crop next year. I don't want to do one crop a year because it's 24 day years. It makes it really difficult to do on the FSN and, and make any money. Uh, but uh, we are picking up a harvester. We're going to lease one, of course, because we don't have the money to buy one right now. I don't want to take out a loan. Uh, no GPS. Don't need it. Uh, 38.25. We're going to go back and do all of our math after we get this. Um, uh, harvest done and sold. We'll do all of our maths on how much we made versus how much we spent. Uh, let's go ahead and lease that. And then we'll just jump down to the store and grab it. Boom. And there's our harvester. So we're working on FSN for the first part here, getting some crops harvested. We're harvesting soybean. And then we'll be jumping over to Iowa Plains View um, to probably jump on and harvest some more soybeans there too there we go off we go down the road um yeah we're gonna be harvesting these and then jumping over to uh Iowa Plains View on the single player and working on soybeans there more than likely I think I got all the milk sold uh I think I gotta feed some cows there's something else was oh I was gonna sell that trailer that's what it was it's gonna sell my my cow trailer and buy the other one because it's actually Mine's worth more than the one in the store, and I don't mind if it's a, a little more beat up. If I can trade it in and make ten grand on it, I'm going to. So, uh, good stuff there. But yeah, so here we are, harvesting soybeans. We can sell these in six months in game, uh, which is uh, twelve days. And I don't, I don't know that I'm going to be here in twelve days. That's the sad part. Uh, I'm going to have to look at my schedule. Week seven, eight, nine, ten. I might be back. I might be back, but I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see, but hopefully I will be. Uh, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, thank you for tuning in. And if you're watching live on Twitch, uh, I appreciate you. Uh, remember that um, I I'm doing an intro, but this is actually tied into uh, the video yesterday of us selling our canola from FSN. I'm just going to tie those two together. Uh, Pokerstar, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. 
Junior, what's up, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Bob, how's it going? Carlos, how are you? Good to see you. Love your streams. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Poker Star. Much appreciated. Hope everybody is good today. Uh, it is hot outside today, man. It's like 96 out today. Uh, heat index and everything else. 111 or something crazy. So, um, yeah. Yeah, hot day today. But yeah, so soybeans, we'll get those done. We won't do anything else. I don't like leasing the fertilizer spreader uh, until I'm planting the field because I can fertilize, plant, fertilize with one leasing cost instead of two. And then uh, we shouldn't need lime this harvest. I think we'll have one more. Actually, we might need lime after this harvest, yeah. We'll see. We'll see if it needs it or not. I don't know. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll find out. So uh, hopefully not because that's just one more price we're going to incur that we don't need. Um, but if we need it, we need it, you know. If we need it, we need it. Uh, and we'll run down and buy bulk down at the FSN uh, silo systems. We'll buy bulk from there. That would be good. I need to check and make sure I'm not missing land auctions on here. Uh, but I want to pay down some of my loan first, but I don't want to miss these two fields right here. This one or that one over there. These these two would be great to have. They're smaller fields. They're still easily worked, but it's right here. I don't have to go anywhere for them. Or that one right over there across the road would be fine, too. Even though it's on a hill, it would still be really good to have. So. All right. No unfolding this bad boy. Let's just get to work here. We'll just turn right into the field, hopefully. Off we go. No GPS, no nothing. I think the last time I put GPS on the big harvester and everything, we're not doing that anymore. We're saving as much money as we can. Basic, bare minimum. That's all there is to it. Done deal. Crystal, how's it going? Good to see you. Pizza Hut, what's up? Farmer Group, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's good today. If it's hot outside, I hope you're staying cool. Oh yeah, old soybean harvest. Uh, the potential yield for this field was 23,000. That'd be about $26,000, which would be better than our last sale. Um, between the oats and the hay bales, we should do pretty well too. So maybe that'll be good. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we're definitely gonna turn a profit here. It's gonna be a small one. Albeit small, it'll still be helpful, which is why we need an extra field. We really need to knock two of these fields out at once. Um, to really start making some money here. One field is just really hard to get going on, but I think we'll be okay in the long run. It'll take me a little while, but we'll make it. I've done this before. Where we start with no money and in debt and uh, have to go the hard route. We'll get there. And I don't think we have soybean straw available in this field, but we'll try, yeah. Straw is not available for the current crop type. Got it. Okay. Fine, fair enough. 20%. We should be able to go um, at least four times up into the field, which is what we want. I usually just make a little headland around, and then we'll just go back and forth on the field. Just had some storms pop through. Oh, man, yeah. That's always good. A little, little rain. It's always nice. Uh, doing pretty well on my end. I've got to work on my mower and stuff this weekend, but other than that, doing pretty well. I was going to work on it this week, but it's like, man, it's just it's just too dang hot right now. I mean, it's not really that. People out there working, doing construction work right now as, as I'm sitting there playing farm sim, so I mean, it's not that bad. But. You know, whatever. Is this an American map, if you know? It is Farmer Groot, I think. Yeah, Hobo Hollow, I'm pretty sure, is, a, is, a, is an American map. I'm not sure where it's based. But uh, it's definitely an American map as far as I know, yes. Doing good, Crystal. It's good to hear. Hated dumping soybeans. What's, what's the problem with dumping soybeans? I'm not a real farmer, so any insight is helpful. We're holding soybeans till next year. Why are we holding soybeans till next year on the community map? I'm guessing because there's a lot of them. Um, and money, right? 
Yeah, I'm not real sure on the on the region it's based on, but I, I do think it's an American map, yeah. Yep, and nope. Okay. Huh. The dust from them just stick to you? Ah, I got you, okay. Oh, not a lot of them for the trouble. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Well, then that makes sense to hold on to them, doesn't it? There we go. That's the one I wanted. I wanted that button. Yeah, this doesn't take too long, even with the smallest possible harvester that's available in the in the base game. But it does take a minute, so it's not going to take too long. And then we'll be doing it over on the <laughs> over on the big fields. But there's a lot to do over there. So in Iowa, we gotta we gotta leave here and head over to Iowa, and uh, and do some work over there too. Uh, but you won't see that during this video. You will. It'll be a separate video for you guys on YouTube. Only have 300k. Last year sold 2.5 million. Yeah, it's 300,000. That's that's a chump change. We don't we don't worry about 300,000 soybeans. Could probably spend that on the server and not even realize it's gone. Especially shoveling out of a bin, coughing up black scum. Ugh. Oh man, that sounds terrible. Yeah, I'm assuming that like some really good. Uh, high quality filtered mask and I don't mean N95 mask I mean the ones with the like replaceable filters and stuff would probably make it a little easier but be very 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 annoying to wear I'm sure I'm sure that would be very annoying The mask would fill up with dust so fast. Oh, way too hot. That's what I figured. Yeah, probably be annoying to wear. Yeah, it just sounds like a horrible job, honestly. Getting ready for equipment. Nice. Heck yeah. Uh, the community farm is growing. If you guys do want to jump on there and play. All you gotta do is join Discord. You're more than welcome to jump on any time. It runs all the time. It resets somewhere around 3 a.m. I think. Central time. Um, somewhere right around that time. So probably avoid that. But any other time you're more welcome to jump on. It's running all the time. We're, we're shooting for 32,000 head of cattle. Uh, we've got all the fields purchased. And we're trying to get to $999,999,999 dollars. ,999 so a billion dollars basically because it won't go to a billion it only goes to 900,000 or 900 million 999 million say but yeah if you want to jump on you're more than welcome jump on and play uh, on the old community server while it's there it's PC only it's not cross play this time around next time it'll be cross play probably um, but yeah more than welcome to jump on and play with us uh, we also have a 7 days to die house build house flipping competition going on there are no zombies. Uh, you get on, you grind, you flip your house. You pick one house, not a business, just a house. Uh, and you could win yourself 90 days worth of server of any base game as long as it's hosted on Nitrado. A 90 day, 10 slot server of any base game as long as it's hosted on Nitrado. So if you wanna get in on that action, it is still open for people to compete, I do believe. I don't think I don't think I've missed the notification that it's full. So uh, I do believe there's still people that can get on and play. If you want that uh, that opportunity? Then hop on. Uh, it's all in Discord. Just read the welcome message, 
give yourself a roll, scroll down, you'll find the channels. Look for the info channels for each if you're planning on jumping in. You liked the job and it was dirty? Yeah, it sounds horrible, honestly. Sounds terrible. What's up, Chicken Chow? How's it going? Uh, I'm doing well today. Yeah, doing well. I was trying to figure out what I was going to play on YouTube, and I never could come up with anything. I just don't have a game that, that is is real consistent for me that I'm building building something in or building a story with right now, other than seven days. Uh, and I just didn't, I didn't want to do seven days two days in a row, so I was like, I don't know. And then I saw this game called Grand Improz. Um, it comes out tomorrow. So thank you, Game Edge. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be playing that for a while, I think. So, I mean, we got some Goku Dynasty coming. There's a lot of good games coming up. I just didn't have anything right now that it was like just really enticing. You know, come play this. I just didn't have any of those. So I was like, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, tomorrow, Grand Emprise. It is a time travel survival game. It's built on Unreal Engine 5, made by one developer. It's going to be fantastic, I think. Well, I mean, you say that, but it's not like I wasn't doing anything else. You know, I've only got three YouTube channels. So, if I'm not streaming, it doesn't mean I'm just sitting here. Like, I've got, I've got lots of other stuff going on, too. But yes, I could have jumped on MP. <laughs> I could have. Uh, I was rendering a video, uh, making thumbnails, all that kind of stuff too, though. So, um, you know, one of the, one of those one of those situations. I don't know what happened, but the 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 uh, UI for course play stopped working. The game helps you get around that. What, how did it stop working? Go into your hotkeys and make sure you. Uh, Make sure your your buttons are still there for, for opening and closing the menu. And a lot of times I gotta click mine like 40 times to get my course plate open. So we'll see it here in a little bit when we switch over to Iowa. Uh, on YouTube you'll see this to, you'll see that tomorrow for Iowa or later this afternoon, depending on when this comes out. Been playing the fake house flipper? What do you mean? But the seven days to die thing? I mean, that's a community effort to, to give away a server, though, Bob. Like, it's it's got to be done. And I'm bored with the real one, I'm going to be honest. Well, I don't know. We still got farm DLC to do, don't we? Yeah, we could we could do that before the before the uh, House Flipper 2 comes out. We'll finish up the farm DLC on House Flipper. That's a good idea. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, that's a good idea. One year, one year at the beginning of harvest, we never got any rain. We worked three 90-hour weeks in a row. It made over, uh, made it to over 96 hours one week. That's tough weeks right there, man. That's tough weeks right there. I've, I've done, I've done a hundred and, a hundred and seven hours one time in my life, um, and that was, that was hard. That was difficult. Uh, it was very difficult. 107 hours. I was working at Hancock Fabrics and we were out of town um, putting shelves in stores and we were doing remodels. And the remodels are actually harder than the new installs because you gotta take down the old stuff, discard, and then work the new stuff in next to the other shelves instead of building it in order like we normally would. You have to work everything in between everything. Um, but we were in Nebraska and I think we did six stores. We did one a day basically. And it was extremely difficult. There's only two of us. And I think three hours of sleep a night was a good night's sleep that week, honestly. Like it was that bad. It was rough. But it was over a hundred hours and six six and a half days. Cause we flew out on Sunday morning. So I think we actually left the store and went to the airport to fly out. 
on Sunday morning. So, uh, did you reset the key bonds and done all you can think of? That's strange, though. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be doing that. It's just you doing it. Like it's just yours. Games is okay. I got one of the doctors that said, "I'm sorry, but you're not gonna make it. You're going to die." The guy said, "That's a bit harsh, there. Anything I can do?" The doctor says you can have three or four mud baths a day. The guy asks, "Is that gonna help?" The doc says, "No, but it'll get you used to the dirt." I mean, hey, that's that's true. <laughs> What's up, Ian? How's it going? That's very true. It'll get you used to the dirt. Sure, why not? <laughs> Uh, when you work those hours, you don't you don't know what day of the week it is, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, we didn't know what time it was. We didn't know when dinner time was, or breakfast time, or lunch time, or whatever. Uh, we were just going, you know. And that's sometimes in life, that's what you gotta do. You just gotta go. But I mean, back doing festivals and stuff now, I, I've realized that on a regular, twelve and fourteen hour days, three four days in a row is. Is, it's still difficult, but it's really just an average weekend for people that work festivals and stuff. I mean, that's an average that's an average three-day run, 14, 15, 16, 18 uh, hour days. So, But yeah, Martin resubbing for eight months. Thank you for eight months of sub support here on the channel. Much appreciated, Martin. I appreciate that, buddy. Hey, we did some flight sim, and I was going to do some flight sim today, but I was trying to find a, a map and stuff that I could, or a, an area I could take off from and then plan a route or something, but I don't know how to set all that up, so I think I'm just going to pick up Microsoft Flight Sim. I don't know there you can go from one to the other, um, and it seems a little bit easier. I think I'm going to pick up Microsoft Flight Sim. But I'm, I'm trying to wait on Microsoft Flight Sim 24, uh, but I did do some flight sim, Martin, and the, the, the Logitech... Um, Pro 3D works fantastic, by the way. It's great for somebody that doesn't want like the full airplane setup, simulation setup. It's great for that. Very, very responsive. It's very nice. So I appreciate you, dude. I really appreciate that. Got some hearts and plungers and golden TP in chat for Martin. And eight months of sub support. I was working seven. Uh, seven twelves for six weeks during the outage. Oh man, dang battery! Yeah, man, seven seven days a week, twelve hour days. That's that's hard on every any anybody, anybody. He doesn't use the mini hub, so he doesn't use the mini UI. Not sure if his works or not. But he told me he doesn't. He told me how he does, and that works for me, so I'm using his way. Wait, there's a way to not use the the mini hub? Oh, I guess if you go into the menu, you can do it all from there, can't you? Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, it's strange. It should be working. When I jump on there Friday, we'll, well, I'll play with it and see if it's working for me. Uh, it may just be on the server itself, and i got to update the map still. I didn't get that done last night. So, I'll try to get that done tonight. His way after it's all set up, go into the course play manager page, clear current course, and then choose course to load and go hit control, control H. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Well, I mean, that works, too. I like using the, the UI, but... Uh, I mean, I guess that's fine, yeah. If you got hotkeys, then... Six months? Sure. Risa. Hey, Martin gifting out two Welcome community back. subs. Well, thank you so very much for the gifted subs, Martin. Pizza Hut and spider Ed. Enjoy those emotes. Uh, as always, share them around to the other community. Show how crappy they are. Uh, I appreciate you, Martin. Get some more. Get some hearts and plunges and TP in chat for Martin. For the resub and the gifted subs. Thanks so very much, buddy. I appreciate you. That's a new follow. Death Kettle Joe, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. Let's 
Gasoline Billy flushing 100 bits right down the toilet. Thank you, buddy. Much appreciate it. Get some plunders in chat for Billy. Thank you, man. Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate you. What Billy say? I know why I can't. Uh, I know. I know why. Let me find it again. Hang on. Uh, I know why they call it retired because 40 years of working, you're always tired. So then you get to be retired. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly why it's called retired. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh oh. That's not good. That's a number joining the server. That's got to be one of the uh, the admin staff. Got to be one of the staff. If it's not working, go to the next best way. I mean, that's true. Whatever, whatever makes it work, right? Whatever makes it work. That's what you got to do sometimes. That's Schlafer? Really? Bunch of numbers? Or is it just not showing his name? May not be showing his name. Martin flushing 10 bits down the toilet. Thank you for the 10 bits. Throw some plungers at Martin as well. Carlos, using that Twitch Prime sub here when you can use it anywhere else on Twitch. It shows the crappiest place you can find. Thank you so very much, Carlos, for using that Twitch Prime sub. Some hearts and plungers and golden TP in chat. But Carlos, kicking off the hype train as well. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. That's so strange. Yeah, I mean, I think mine's just deuce, right? Yeah. trying to type in one hand here. This is not working. Yes, yeah, strange. That's very strange. Yeah, my keyboard's off to my left side when I've got my wheel up and my mouse is over on my right side, so let's type in one hand. Makes it a little, a little more tedious, but you know. Whatever. Watched on YouTube for a long time? On the main channel? Carlos? Crazy Carlos? No, you were Crazy Carlos on Twitch, right? Or the guy was Crazy Carlos on Twitch, I don't know. Three Holy! Up. Holy crap! We hit the goal for hey, today. To 10 the out of 10. Holy Welcome crap. Back. Martin coming in with five more gifted subs. Three month resub. Six months resub. Is that all of them? I think that was all of them. Martin coming in with five gifted subs in the community. Hit the goal for the day and level three hype train in progress too. Thank you, man. Much appreciated for the five gifted subs. Throw some hearts and plunder some golden TP and chat for Martin. Show some love. Thank you so very much. Farmer Groot, Miss Skillet, Blue, you my boy Blue, call me King Richard, and Panda, hope you enjoy those emotes, much appreciated, to Martin. Bob said, I type with one hand all the time. It, it, I'm, I'm guessing that it gets more familiar though, Bob. I'm not used to typing with one hand. <laughs> It's, it's just weird because I'm not used to typing one hand. I mean, I'm used to pecking with, with fingers, you know, like the chicken pecking typing like, like we used to make fun of old people doing. Now I do. It, so. I don't know what that says, but now I do. It. Doing it with one hand is weird. So. <laughs> I'm guessing you get used to it, though. Like you probably figure out ways to move around the keyboard a little easier, that kind of stuff. Like, I want to type as normal with my left hand on the left side of the keyboard, but I can't because i got to hit all the buttons, and it, it's just my brain is not processing. So, 
Jeremy, what's up, buddy? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. All right, 73%. Do you think we can make one more one more run, or should we just... Is I going to go down and back again? I think we just empty this out. It's probably the best bet. Let's go empty it out. After 14 years, you type faster than you did with two hands. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you get, pe people adapt. People people are are crazy good at stuff, uh, and adapting is one of them. People can adapt, and it's great. How are we doing on soybeans so far? We need to keep up with this because we've we've spent some money already. Uh, we covered all of our planting and everything for the soybeans out of the last one and still made five hundred dollars profit. We're up to twelve thousand. That's pretty good. I mean, even at the low point, or well, the low point, we're only making four ninety nine. But at the midpoint, uh, which is, I mean, right now it's December and we could still get nine oh three at Welcome highway back. producers right now in December for this. I technically could go sell this right away, right now. Slave for coming in with a tier one sub for 37 months. Thank you, man, for 37 months sub support. Slave for much appreciated, buddy. Slave for's actually on here too. It does it every time I get on now. Weird. Yeah, it's strange, man. Uh, I don't know why I would do that. Yeah, Slave for is the one that jumped in a second ago on the server. Uh, I'm guessing you're mowing grass or something today. Maybe selling some stuff. I don't know. Got some hearts and blunders and golden GPA chat for Slafer. 37 months of sub support here on the channel. Yeah, so the there was a there was a guy named Crazy Carlos who used to watch all the time on YouTube. And I don't know if it's the same Carlos that's here with us in Twitch. It may not be. Sale bales, you just got up? Nice. That's what I'm talking about. You working nights or something? You just get up, man. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. You keep in my hours. Those are my work hours, man. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the outhouse. Dang. Man, you guys. You guys hey, are something else. Hey, how you else. doing? Welcome to the outhouse. Martin Gifton, two more subs in the community. Perseus. And Valve. Enjoy those emotes. Uh, thanks so much, Martin, for the gifted subs. Let's get some more hearts and plunders and gold TV in chat. Just throw them out there. Don't be shy. Throw them in. It didn't cost you anything to throw emotes out if you've already got them. You've already paid for them. Might as well use them. You by Carlos AZ on YouTube. Oh, okay. Carlos YZ on YouTube. Okay, well. I don't know. I don't know. Never seen my live over there, but I've watched several videos. Oh, cool. Okay, well, good deal then. Well, I'm glad uh, I'm glad you've enjoyed it enough to, to watch and then come hang out over here on uh, Twitch as well. So that's good. I know you've I know you've probably been hanging out here for a little while now, but yeah, I'm just happy people people like the content enough to to give it a chance and come hang out for live streams too. So that's great. Thank you. Now I'm done. I appreciate it, Mark. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you for all the gifted subs in the community, gifting some cool emotes, uh, well, some crappy emotes, let's just be honest, uh, to, to some people in the community too. Thanks so very much for that. Uh, and it does help me out, of course. So, of course, I'm going to be happy about it, but I appreciate it. I play a lot of games you like. Cool. Well, cool. I try to mix it up on the main YouTube channel. The main YouTube channel really was, I mean, it, it I, I did a bunch of different stuff to begin with. And then it kind of became the Dynasty channel. Um, just because of the success I had with Farmer's Dynasty and then Lumberjack's Dynasty and Medieval Dynasty when it first came out. Um, a lot of success. It kind of became the Dynasty channel. But at the same time, I've done all kinds of different games. Um, there are several story-based games I recommend going back and watching. For sure. 
watch me get lost in puzzles and try to figure them out. I'm not the brightest person, so doing puzzle games is really difficult for me. So, Banished is your go-to game. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Uh, what was the one I was playing that was kind of like Banished? People kept comparing it to Banished. Uh, Farthest Frontier? No, that wasn't it. We played. We played several. Uh, city builder games and I was gonna do homeseek but it didn't seem like there was that much interest interest in the game so I'm leaving it alone uh, tomorrow we're gonna start a new game though for a little while uh, we're gonna be playing um, a time travel survival game called grand improvs uh, on the main YouTube channel so if you're gonna if you're gonna come over to the main YouTube channel from farmer deuce uh, expect a lot of different survival city builders and other simulators other than farm sim too so uh, like life is futile? No, it wasn't life is futile. It was a it was a top down city builder type game like um, like banished. I can't remember what it was. Uh, there is one coming though that I'm going to be playing called Circle of Life. It looks really interesting, um, and it seemed to have some interest when I did the demo for it. So, Homeseek did not get as much attention as I would like to have for for a short series on it. So. I think uh, Circle of Life is one we'll be doing, though. It's it's a really good-looking city builder game. Crap. I don't think I'm plugged back in my side panel. That's going to prove tricky. Uh, over on Iowa, but I'll plug it in before we get going. Uh, didn't I see the cable hanging right now? Manor Lords is one I'm looking forward to. Manor Lords looks really good. Yeah, I followed them on Twitter. Uh, the developer on Twitter, and it's looking really nice too. But there's not, I mean, there's several that I have on my wish list, but I'm just not really excited for anything that's coming out in the next, like, month other than Sengoku Dynasty. I mean, that's the only one I'm really, really excited about. Uh, I do want to get. Uh, American Truck Sim working again, but I'm going to do it on the main YouTube channel. We're going to send it back over to the main YouTube channel, guys. We're going to keep this purely farm sim on Twitch and on the Farm Reduce YouTube channel. And uh, American Truck Sim will be purely on the main YouTube channel if I do it. I want to try to get it working again, though. We need to finish up Texas. And we need to get into Oklahoma when it comes out. It's Oklahoma, right? That's right. You've received a level 3 hype train emote. Share. Yes. Share that bad boy. Choo choo. Heck yeah. 11 subs and 110 bits. Thank you guys for the support there. Much appreciated. If you got a hype train emote, throw it in chat. Let's see which one you got. I am curious. Slaver Flush and 100 bits. Thank you, man. Much appreciated for the 100 bits. Throw some plungers at Slaver as well. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated. Uh, it's out on the first. Yep. Yeah, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. I don't know the rest of the song. That's the only part of it I know. That's the only part I ever hear it. Uh, hear, hear saying, so I don't, I don't know what the rest of it is. I'm not a theater person either. So anybody in theater would know that, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they would have some kind of idea. You've collected all three level, uh, I've collected all the level three, um, hype train emotes. Oh, cool. All right. That's awesome. That's the only part everyone knows. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Joe. That's the only part everyone knows, I feel like. Uh, I'll learn the rest of the song. I've heard the whole song a bunch, but the only part I know is the first part, just like everybody else. <laughs> Nice, you guys got a dance and dino. Cool. I probably have that one, I just don't know where it's at. Soybeans almost harvested. What are we up to now? 15,000? Hey, that's good. That's good. If we can get on at the right time and sell these, we're, we're going we're gonna to make some decent money off of this. Uh, what we might do is roll that into the next plant. So... We'll, we'll figure for the harvester this time, right? And then we'll figure for the 
um, fertilizer and planter for and lime probably uh, for the next planting. We'll we'll use this profit to to counteract that and see if we're actually making any money. I mean, I know we're making a little bit of money, but it's just a it's a struggle. It's just a struggle. This series is going to take a while. Uh, and, and mainly because the series only ends if we switch maps. Because this server runs all the time in real time. It's 24 days per year. So it's two day months. Uh, and it's played with seasons and hard economy and all that kind of stuff. I can't just go buy land. I have to wait on land auctions to pop up. So I mean, you know... It, Basically, the series will run until I get tired of playing or we change maps again. Which, changing maps is probably not going to happen anytime soon. Oh, that's not for the hype train? That's Twitch giving it for a dance party. Oh, that's cool. Okay. You're attempting to rebuild your own PC and get more games? I built my own. Um, now, if you ask the guys at Meta, they'll... They have a whole ad based on, you know, people, I built my own PC, what's wrong with this? You know? Uh, they do great marketing. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing real wrong with building your own PC. I don't think. Just Temper, what's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you, buddy. Hope all is well in your world. Hope life's been treating you fair. We can just swing straight around here. We might be able to. Whoa! We did. We swung too far. I tried to get the wheel back around, but it didn't work. What was the map you played on before before on FSN? So we on 22 we switched over to Elm Creek. Um, and I think that's where we left to pick this one up, is it not? I think that's right. So the one before that was Midwest Horizons. Midwest Horizons was a fantastic map too. It's just, a, these are 4X maps. They're so dang big, man. Third shift life. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's terrible, Schaefer. In 19. Yeah, that was Midwest Horizons. Everything's good here. Hope everything's well with your feet. Yeah, man, doing good. Doing good. Heck yeah. You know, school getting ready to start back. Ms. Deuce is finishing up her last master's class. I've started doing a few more shows again, so life's good. Yeah, man. Nothing to complain about. Could you imagine that harvester on the MP fields? Well, the crazy part, Crystal, is this is a 4X map, too. Like, this map is very, very large. There's just not as many big square fields, but, I mean, this field right here is... 114 acres, you know, like there's some really big fields on here uh, The one the one right over there is like 70 acres just that one right there the big one This one right here is probably in the neighborhood of 40 the one right in front of me Like they don't look that big, but they're big big fields. Yeah, I would not want to use this on the MP server though I wouldn't want to use this on any big fields if we had if we had these three so this one this one and this one these three fields right here in a row. Um, I'd be making enough money to justify leasing a slightly larger harvester. So we would be leasing a slightly larger harvester, if that makes sense. Uh, right now, I can't justify... Sp I actually need something smaller than this one, but this is what we got. So um, it's the smallest option. But, yeah, I would be using something a little bit bigger than this uh, to do the rest of this if I had more fields. It, it would, it would, the money would work out then because I'd be leasing it for three harvests for three different fields for a lot larger area. And right now, it just, it barely pays for itself as it is. So. I need to get on there, open some boxes, see if I can get lucky and make some money. I don't know if boxes are a thing anymore though. Well, this right here is very close, isn't it? So I think, probably cutting it closer on the left than I am the right. That's probably good right there. Just keep it straight. The 
Western Australia fields. Well, I mean, even the, the Western Australia was a regular size map though. So even with the fields plowed together, we were probably still only pushing around 80 acres most of the time. Like it looked big on that map because it was a regular size map. But some of the fields on um, like field 77 before we put stuff on it, right? Just field 77 by itself was probably as big as one of our big fields on Western Australia. Or is probably. Field 77 on uh, Dairyland. It's probably the same size, if not close anyway. All right, that's it. That's the soybeans done. Uh, we are officially done with the harvest in year three. I think we're in year three. Uh, on Life on the FSN 22 edition. And I really need to change that to uh, Hobo Hollow probably because we've changed maps. So, And we restarted completely. We all started from scratch again, which is weird because, I mean, I didn't have a lot of money, but I had about $8 million. So it would have been super nice to get on here and start with that. But, yeah. Uh, I should put additional field info on probably. That would be good. But, yeah, there we go. Done deal. Harvest is all finished. Uh, and if you're here on Twitch, hang out for a minute. If you're on YouTube, uh, watching later, I appreciate you hanging out for the conversation and the selling of canolas and the harvesting of the soybeans. Uh, we'll be back in, uh, I guess, a week or so to start planting fields because we really can't do anything on here until, let's see, we got uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday is the earliest next week, and I won't be here for some streams next week. I don't know which ones. So it's liable to be a whole other week before I can plant, so I might actually plant here instead. I might be back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, I'll definitely be back in June to sell. Okay, so that'll work. Uh, and we might be back in time to plant uh, oats again, which I really want to do. But that would put us harvesting here, meaning we'd have to wait again to plant soybeans. But if we plant soybeans here, we could harvest them here and then plant here. So that might be our crop rotation. Plant soybeans early, plant oats and canola late. And that might be our crop rotation for a little while. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to continue the live stream with everybody. If you want to come out with live streams, come on twitch.tv slash do some mess. Find all my links down below under link tree. They're all in really neat, tidy little uh, categories and stuff. It's a it's an app. It works great on mobiles. It works great on phones and stuff. Um, it's, it's just really handy to have, honestly, because it's really easy to find all my links in one place. Go find them. If you want to join the servers, come on with us. Uh, if you need a server yourself, the reason there is a sponsored tag in this video is because these, uh, the, these, these, well, the FSN is also hosted on Trotto, but I'm an Trotto partner. I get a free server for them every month. So we host our community server on that. If you want to play there, come on, jump in with us. All fun. I appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Later, folks.